Ever wonder how police manage to stay one step ahead of criminals? Today, we're diving into the shadowy world of police tactics. The life of a law enforcer is more than just a badge and a uniform, it's about mastering a complex web of strategies designed to maintain public safety and enforce the law. From subtle psychological maneuvers to high-tech surveillance, police use an array of secretive tactics. In this exploration, we'll uncover 13 such methods that keep our communities safe. Let's uncover the hidden strategies that make our law enforcers so effective. First up, the art of distraction. In the intricate dance of law enforcement, distraction serves as a pivotal move. Police officers often employ this technique to catch suspects off guard. Imagine creating a scenario that seems urgent or alarming. This misdirection can divert a suspect's focus, allowing officers to approach or apprehend without immediate detection. Whether it's a staged phone call or a sudden noise, these elements of surprise are crucial. With distraction, police turn the element of surprise to their advantage. Next, we have the civilian disguise. When law enforcement officers ditch their uniforms for everyday attire, they're not just changing clothes. They're transforming their approach to policing. By dressing in civilian clothing, officers seamlessly integrate into the community. This allows them to gather essential information and observe criminal behavior up close without tipping off those they're watching. It's a method that combines subtlety with strategy, enabling the police to monitor suspicious activities effectively while remaining under the radar. In plain clothes, officers can walk the line between being invisible and vigilant. Technology plays a crucial role. In the digital age, law enforcement has embraced a suite of advanced technologies to stay a step ahead of criminals. Fingerprint scanners provide swift identity verification, while facial recognition software maps faces in crowds pinpointing suspects with astonishing accuracy. DNA analysis offers unequivocal evidence linking individuals to crime scenes with scientific precision. Surveillance cameras, the silent sentinels, record activities 24-7, providing crucial footage for investigations. Through technology, police can see what's invisible to the naked eye. Now let's talk psychology. In the intricate dance of interrogation, police often employ psychological tactics to gain the upper hand. Techniques like the good cop, bad cop strategy are classic. One officer appears tough and intimidating, while the other seems sympathetic, creating a psychological pressure that can lead to confessions. Other methods include building rapport, offering reassurances or subtly suggesting the inevitability of truth coming out, all designed to break down defenses and encourage cooperation. Psychology can often succeed where physical evidence cannot. Deception can be a powerful tool. In the shadowy realms of law enforcement, police often turn to undercover or sting operations to ensnare criminals in their own webs of deceit. Picture an officer disguised not just in attire but in character, weaving into the underworld. They might simulate criminal acts or pose as someone they're not, all to gather evidence against unsuspecting wrongdoers. These operations require patience, skill, and a deep understanding of human nature. Deception is all about playing the long game. Ever heard of deep cover? To dismantle criminal networks from within, law enforcement officers sometimes assume undercover identities. This method is not just about slipping on a new outfit, it involves adopting an entirely new persona, complete with a fabricated backstory and lifestyle. The stakes are high, as maintaining this guise among potentially dangerous criminals requires nerves of steel and meticulous attention to detail. It's a high-risk, high-reward strategy, pivotal in gathering crucial intelligence undetected. Undercover work is not just about disguise, but survival. Finding the eyes that saw it all. In the quest to piece together the fragments of a crime, Police often turn to those who may have witnessed the event. Utilizing a blend of old-school gumshoe and modern methods, officers conduct door-to-door -door inquiries, their questions painting a clearer picture of the incident. They also harness the power of media, broadcasting appeals for witnesses that might just break a case wide open. These strategies are not just about gathering evidence, they're about building a narrative. Every witness could hold the key to solving a case. Protecting the crime scene is crucial. When a crime occurs, the immediate response is to preserve the scene as it holds the silent witnesses. Evidence. Every uncontrolled footstep or misplaced touch can alter the narrative written in clues scattered around. Police swiftly establish barriers, meticulous in their approach to ensure no detail is overlooked. They document everything, from the position of objects to the subtlest of marks. This rigorous preservation allows forensic experts to piece together the events providing invaluable insights into the crime. 
A well-preserved crime scene speaks volumes. Interrogation is an art form. It's a strategic dance between the interrogator and the suspect, where the former employs a blend of tactics to unearth the truth. Officers start by establishing rapport, easing into a conversation that builds trust. They then introduce evidence, subtly hinting at contradictions in the suspect's story. This psychological maneuvering is designed to encourage honesty, often without direct confrontation. Strategic silence plays its part too, letting the suspects fill the void, revealing more than they intend. The right questions can unravel any story, supporting those affected. When the unthinkable happens, police officers step in not just as enforcers but as crucial supporters for victims of crime. They guide individuals through the complexities of legal proceedings offering clarity and reassurance in turbulent times. Officers provide emotional support, ensuring victims feel heard and respected throughout the investigative process. They also connect victims with necessary resources, from counseling services to legal assistance, helping them regain a sense of security and control over their lives. Victim assistance is about restoring peace and order. Working with the community. Police officers don't stand apart from the community, they are an integral part of it. Engaging actively, they foster neighborhood watch programs that empower residents to keep a vigilant eye on their surroundings. These programs cultivate a culture of safety and awareness. Additionally, by organizing public meetings, officers open a dialogue with citizens, addressing concerns and sharing vital crime prevention tips. This two-way communication is crucial for tailoring police efforts to the specific needs of the community. Community cooperation strengthens the shield against crime. In the face of danger, police officers are trained to manage high-risk situations with precision and calm. These scenarios, whether dealing with armed suspects or rescuing hostages, require a blend of specialized training and quick, strategic thinking. Officers use advanced tactics and equipment to ensure safety and control. Negotiation skills and crisis management play crucial roles, as does the ability to make split-second decisions that could potentially save lives or prevent further harm. High-risk situations demand high-caliber responses. As we've seen today, police work is both an art and a science. From the subtle art of distraction to the complexities of undercover operations, each tactic serves a vital purpose in law enforcement. Whether leveraging cutting-edge technology or employing psychological strategies, officers are equipped to handle challenges with precision and care. These methods are crucial for protecting communities and ensuring justice. Understanding these tactics not only demystifies police work, but also highlights the critical role officers play in our society. Stay safe and informed.